Thank you, Steve. Thousands of people lined the streets of Springfield, Massachusetts today to salute Gunnery Sergeant Thomas Sullivan one final time. His life tragically ended in a mass shooting in Tennessee. CBS 6's Kimberly Howard was in Springfield and shows us the outpouring of support for a family torn apart by tragedy. Through song, prayer, readings, and personal stories, people here at Holy Cross Catholic Church said goodbye to a man they call a hero. Not just a Marine or a decorated veteran, but a family man and neighbor everyone in Springfield seems to know. The dirges that rang from Holy Cross Church painted a picture of mourning for everyone in earshot. In the scorching sun, people stood still and listened. Honoring the fallen is a painful reality that members of the armed forces know all too well. But this service for Gunnery Sergeant Thomas Sullivan was somehow different, sadder. The gunny did tours, got back, uh, never expected to die on American soil, and it shouldn't happen again. Sullivan was one of five Marines killed after a lone gunman opened fire at a military facility in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's just terrible. It's it's so terrible, it's needless. Through the grief trickle hints of anger, but also... Gratitude. He did what he was supposed to do, and he did it well. You know, he, was, he did it nobly. So thousands of Sullivan's neighbors lined the streets, some clutching American flags, others raising their hands in salutes. When we heard that a hero that's been two tours in Iraq and then gets killed here in America, it's pretty sad and devastating for us. I'm very proud of the people in Springfield for the way in which they've turned out to show support for Tommy, for his family, and indeed uh, for all of those who serve in our armed forces. He's a hero, and he loved the military, and he's going to be well missed around here. Gunnery Sergeant Sullivan was laid to rest with full military honors at Massachusetts Veterans Memorial Cemetery in Agawam. In Springfield, Massachusetts, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.